This is a crankshaft balancing machine and today we're working on a 383 stroker for a customer. Before we can actually balance the crankshaft, we have to go through and record all of the weights of the individual components. Starting with the connecting rods, we'll use this fixture to measure the big end of each rod as well as the small end of each rod. Next, we'll measure each piston and pin individually and mix and match to find the combination that has the least variation. We're already fairly close, so we'll also mix and match the connecting rod and piston assemblies to get our tolerance within one gram. We also need to weigh the additional rotating and reciprocating components, so we'll weigh the piston rings, the retaining locks, and the bearing inserts. There's also a small allowance for the engine oil. Using these numbers, we can calculate the bob weights that will be used to simulate these components when we spin the crank on the balancing machine. As the crankshaft is rotating on the machine, it's measuring the amount of imbalance and the angular location of the imbalance on the front and rear sides of the crankshaft. It then tells us how deep we need to drill on the counterweights in order to remove the correct amount of material to bring it into balance. If you enjoy learning about engine machine work, click that follow button and visit our channel for more in-depth videos like the one that's going live right now.